90% of cooking is cutting onions. So in this video, I wanna show you three easy ways to cut an onion. I show this a lot in all of my recipe videos, but maybe you're making somebody's recipe video that's not mine. So uh, here's a video that'll show you the three top ways that you can cut an onion and make you a better cook in the kitchen. All right, let's take a look at the anatomy of an onion. So the onion's got two ends. It has a root end and it has this end, which the shoot come out of. So like came out of the ground like this. And the first thing we gotta do is we gotta get off both ends, but we're only gonna take off a little bit. So the hardest cut that you have to make on the onion is the first cut because the onion is round. So what I like to do is hold the onion with this claw grip and make sure that my hand is touching the cutting board. So once I do that, I got really good control over the onion and the onion is nice and still, as opposed to here where my hand is up in the air and I'm not attached to the cutting board and now the the, the onion can go anywhere. So I'm gonna claw grip, lean into it a little bit, make sure that I attach my hand to the cutting board, and we're gonna go right down through, just taking off the end of that root. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side, onion's still around, so again, safety first. I'm gonna keep my hand down, and just nice and close to that root end, or the shoot end. Now we're gonna peel off that initial layer, I'll go right around real quick. And again, anytime I'm working with the onion and it's not on a flat surface, I'm gonna always attach my hand to the cutting board and I'll just take the sharpness of the blade, pull this right through and just take off just that first layer. So once we can get underneath that, that first layer of onion, sometimes it's a little slimy, sometimes it's still not full onion and it's got some skin to it. And now you can see, now we have a nice round onion. You can see which one the root end is because you're gonna see the, the like woody hard root stem as opposed to the other side that looks more like the onion. So now we're gonna split the onion lengthwise. So I got these two nice flat ends. I can put it on either side. And with that claw grip attaching my arm to the table, I'm gonna go right through and I got two halves. And you can see the halves are nice and solid. They're not falling apart because we still have that root end intact. The first thing I'm gonna do is you're probably your most standard cut that you're gonna get on an onion, which is gonna be like a medium dice. And this is gonna be used for a lot of recipes where we're just gonna cook onions. So uh, a lot of people say this is an optional cut, but I like to do it. So we're gonna cut horizontally first before we go vertically. So I'm gonna pull the onion very close to the edge of the cutting board so it's here so I can get my hand uh, in this negative space off the cutting board. I'm gonna put my hand right above it, not behind the knife, and with a little bit of downward pressure just to hold the knife there, I'll wiggle the way through and almost get all the way through. You can still see I still have a little bit to go here and the onion is still intact. Now from here, holding onto the onion this way, making sure that my hand is out of the way, I'm gonna push down all the way, and I'm making sure that I'm lining up the knife tip almost with the end that I'm not cutting all the way through because we still want the onion to hold together. And I'm cutting down in about half inch slices, and when I get down to the end, if it's starting to come apart a little bit, I can just give it a little bit of sideways pressure just to hold all the way through. So now we've already put the cut this way, and now all our vertical cuts, and now pushing down and across, I'm gonna cut the same thing, so about a half inch in, down and across, down and across, down and across, all the way down until I get to my last bit. And now this bit on the side, I'm gonna turn it sideways, and now I'm gonna rocker chopper all the way through. And now you can see that this is a very nice medium dice on this onion. Everything's very equal, really fast and easy. So now the next way that I can cut an onion is in strips. It's also another really common cut that you'll see inside recipes. So now that I have this other half, uh, I can cut this this way or this way. My personal favorite is cutting it this way because you can see these lines, these fibrous lines of the onion. The onion has fibers that run this way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slice this way through the onion, getting our strips this way. So the fiber runs this way and it makes the onions just a little bit more tender in my opinion. Onion. So now, same thing, I'm gonna attach my hand to the, the cutting board with a nice claw grip, getting my fingers out of the way, and we're gonna go down and forward through this onion, getting nice strips all the way down. When this gets down to the end, it's actually a little easier to cut if we flip flop it. So once it's starting to get into the danger zone, I'll flip flop it the other way and put the last two cuts going this way. 
and now you can see nice long slices of that onion. And the last way that we're going to cut an onion is into rings. So if I wanted to do rings, I got to keep it round. So I really got to make sure that I really get that, that nice claw grip. And so now from here, just going downward, making sure that I'm holding on to the knife and keeping my hand in contact with the cutting board, I can slice nice rings all the way down. About halfway through, I can flip it over. And no hero cuts once I think I've gotten far enough. And the only way that I'm able to make good cuts like this is because I got this sharp knife. If your knives aren't sharp, this is gonna be really, really hard. Check out my knife sharpening video that I put out. Uh, it shows you everything that you'll need to know about keeping and making sure that your knives are sharp. Now you can see here we have these nice concentric rings. These are great if you're doing onion rings. They're also really good on top of sandwiches and burgers. These onions are cut so perfectly that I am crying. Oh, just kidding. They really make me cry. Ugh, as I'm standing here, it's taking me like a couple of minutes before I could say the next thing because my eyes are watering so much. Uh, the only thing you can really do to avoid that is uh, wear goggles. I've done that before, but now I've just gotten used to just dealing with uh, the tearing sensation for a little bit. Now that I've finally stopped crying, uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope it was really helpful. Uh, get good at these and all of a sudden your cooking is going to get that much easier and you're gonna level up to that next game. Um, check out my knife sharpening video that I mentioned earlier because if you don't have a sharp knife, uh, cutting these onions is gonna be really hard. I'll see you there. Thanks.